cell phone usage. Um, I think as we look at the digital age and new technologies that come forward, we have to constantly look for ways to get the technology in the hands of kids. Many of our students have cell phones already, so accessing the internet um, isn't uh, such the boundary that it maybe was before. So how do I give student access to that information um, from sitting in a classroom with a, with a dictionary, looking up a word, the ability to pull out a cell phone, go to my browser and, and look up that word and get the definition with multiple entries of that definition or Google knowledge. So we, we want to give students access to the Google knowledge information. We know that the internet will not synthesize it or critique it for us. We have to be thinkers. And so the tool is there uh, with cell phone usage a lot of times, but we're too afraid to engage students with it. Now, for sure, areas of privacy, locker rooms, bathrooms, um, videoing students, our technology staff here is, is engaged students in projects of video production and creation, podcasting, uh, getting, at, getting the, the, uh, uh, the video shoots, getting the material to, to manipulate and create the videos and, and content. We need to make sure we're asking permission of the students before I'm going to go and just go around and video people or take pictures of people. But those are things that the students need to learn today. Um, you know, without schools sitting and teaching kids how to utilize their cell phone effectively and how to sit face to face and engage in conversation in, in addition to just being online, we know Friedman's example in his work is, you know, the taxi cab driver in Paris where the cab driver's on his cell phone and uh, Friedman's on his laptop and they're not inter interacting or engaging. So sometimes I'm so engaged with somebody a thousand miles away, but I, I fail to engage with the person next to me. So we can't leave the cell phone sitting you know, in the book bag uh, forever if we're going to want to engage kids with technology and teach them the literacies they, they need, um, how to access information effectively, how to critique it, not only critically consume, but also produce it. So I think that we need to take that cell phone in and, and look at models of effective use. One of the teachers in our schools uses a text blast, text.blast, txt.blast, and gets the kids texting, um, you know, text this number to, and then she sends out homework to the students as a reminder. So I'm in that, that text blast group, and I'll see those homework comes out. We've had students give us anecdotal information on that, like, you know, I really wouldn't have remembered that homework. Um, yeah, they need to write in their agenda. They need to have the traditional ways. But as many things as we, we, know, we know they're online. We know they're in the online environment, so we interact with them in those environments and utilize the technology of texting to send out homework reminders or, or, or whatever it is. So the digital drop boxes and, and all of those pieces. So my view as an administrator on, on cell phones is under the, the direct instruction of a, of a teacher, um, they should be allowed. And we can't just let them photo or photograph anybody. We need to teach them how to photograph, who, who they should be sending stuff to. Um, and of course they shouldn't you know, access inappropriate sites. But that's also the teaching element of um, internet literacies today. So that's my two cents, as it were, on cell phones.